Hello, in this video I show you how to cut out texture images and keep the UV with a high poly count. Okay, you need pictures, images with a transparent background like this. Here in Procreate you can remove the background and save it as a PNG file. Okay. And I open now this scene, yes. And you get something like this. This is a wireframe here, low poly, and UV maps are on the objects. Okay, let's start. I create a new scene and let's delete the sphere and you have to change a setting. When you go to the settings here, interface, and there's a, a menu point, a debug, press it and here's a checkbox keep primitive UVs and the second one at BFF UVs you can also check um, because it's useful sometimes. Okay this is the setting for Nomad Sculpt and now when you add a primitive a box or a sphere the sphere already has a UV map. The, at the bottom there's a UV thing here in the interface you can add a shortcut at the bottom the UV okay then you can see the UV here and let's see the wireframe we can validate the sphere and now let's go in the right view and trim the sphere symmetry off and it's possible, I turn the perspective off, right view, and I trim now the sphere because half a sphere is enough to project the texture. And we can use more poly count on the same, uh, yes, on, on this area. Okay, we need more vertices multi-resolution and yes, subdivide the, the mesh a few times. Two million vertices is, a, is okay to get a nice result. Turn the wireframe off front view and you can lock the front view. Okay. To apply the textures we can use the paint tool or the stamp tool. I do it now with the paint tool and we use um, the settings here. Here you can choose your, your texture with a transparent background. Let's use this one. Roughness is okay. And here Next setting, we choose um, this alpha and the scaling like this. And the fall off flat and the stroke type grab dynamic radius. On the left side, turn off the symmetry. We don't need it here. And let's try it. Yes, it works. Go back. And we need now a layer. Add a layer. And let's apply the texture. Like this. Fine. Okay. 
in the layer settings here are three dots press on it and here it's possible to mask the color press on the small mask on the right side and now your color of the leaf is masked now we use the trim tool and in the trim settings turn off hole filling fill holes front view symmetry off and we can use the lasso tool and select the whole object and trim the rest of the object away now you get this and the important thing is the uv map is active you see with a poly count of near seven seven hundred thousand vertices okay uh, important thing here is that the mask is still active and now I zoom in and when you go to the mask and press now the mask and invert it the borders are masked you can now press on sharpen and blur it one time I hope you see it. Um, this is uh, the complete edge is now masked and I hope it works. You can play around with it, um, but it's important to invert the mask and now um, see if the border is masked. And you can now use, it's a nice feature when you use the split function and also hole filling off. And let's see what happens in the scene here. Split the object. And when you go in the solo view, the, the complete border is splitted. And when you need this, border it's uh, a nice thing to have an outline sometimes and here it's possible when you use the mask and uh, there's also a rest of the mask on it clear the mask sorry and now you can give it a color but for this tutorial we don't need it uh, but it it's a nice uh, feature to, to get uh, such outlines around the objects. Okay, let's hide this object here. We only need this one. And yeah, it's still okay. And when the, to smooth the borders, it's possible to use the smooth tool and in the smooth tool you can change the settings here use a flat fall off and grab dynamic radius and now when you i zoom in in a little bit when you now uh, use this function the borders get a little bit smoother. I go a few steps back and you can use it on the complete object when you scale it um, and use it here and brush along from the center of the object. Now the edges become smoother and smoother and smoother. Yes, it's a nice result, I think. And here the leaf is a little bit curved. You can now, yes, sculpt on it a little bit. You can use all the other brushes. Um, you can crease here. Yes, like you want. And a little bit lower intensity and I use the other fall off, I think. 
Let's test this one. I think it's okay. Oh. It's not so nice. Okay. And the last thing is in the decimation menu UV menu it's possible to bake the vertex painting you, you can change the resolution but I use now 10 uh, 1024 and bake the vertex and now it's possible to decimate the mesh press on decimate Okay, um, yes, this is a 9000 vertices wire. This is too much. I think this one is okay. But there's um, not much structure in the in the texture of the leaf. I think we can leave it like this. And now let's see when we save it. One point three megabyte for the leaf. And it's okay, I think. Yes, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.